Hi everyone, it's great to see you. I'm Robert and today we're reading a story. Today we are reading Monster Madness by DC Comics. Monster Madness. The city of Metropolis threw a big costume party on Halloween night to thank the Super Friends for all the times they had saved the city. The Super Friends came dressed as themselves. Everyone was having fun. But someone sinister was lurking in the shadows. Someone who wasn't happy. It was... Scarecrow. The Super Friends have ruined my plans too many times, the creepy criminal growled. Let's see how they like it when I ruin their party. Scarecrow leapt into the middle of the crowd. Everyone screamed as a foul-smelling fog poured out of Scarecrow's jack-o'-lantern and filled the room. My latest mind-bending gas will make these partygoers think they are what they're dressed as, Scarecrow cried. The super friends will be fighting a room full of monsters. Get them, Scarecrow snarled. The costume people attacked the super friends. The werewolf howled. The zombie lurched. The vampire bared his fangs. The pirates brandished their swords and the witch cackled. Be careful, Batman warned the super friends. We don't want to hurt them. We just want to slow them down until we can find a way to stop Scarecrow. The vampire hissed as he tried to bite Batman's neck, but Batman was too fast for him. You should try the punch if you're that thirsty, Batman said. He used his bat rope to lasso the vampire. Across the room, the werewolf was chasing Green Lantern. I know just what to do with a bad dog like you, Green Lantern said, scooping the growling werewolf into the giant green dog catcher's net he'd made with his power ring. The zombie was slow but strong. Superman didn't want to hurt the party guest, but he kept coming. It's time to get this ghoul tucked in for the night, Superman said, using his heat vision to cut some ghost decorations loose from the ceiling. The ghosts fluttered down and the zombie became hopelessly entangled in the sheets and ropes. Cyborg and Aquaman were busy with their own fight. The pirates and the witch might have only been party guests, but their swords and broom were real enough. Ouch. Meanwhile, a black cat was chasing Robin and her claws were razor sharp. I know that cats love to chase birds, Robin said, dodging the claws again and again, but I think this kitty wants me for a snack. Snacks, Batman exclaimed. That's it. Not all the guests at this party are monsters, Batman said and I know just the pair of partiers who can give Scarecrow a taste of his own bad medicine. Batman grabbed a big bowl of popcorn and dumped it on Scarecrow's head. Two human-sized crows took notice. Yum! What do you think you're doing, Batbrain? Scarecrow yelled. Then he realised that popcorn was stuck in every nook and cranny of his costume, and those crows looked hungry. Uh-oh. Scarecrow ran off into the night, chased by the giant crows. Those birds will keep Scarecrow busy for a while, Batman said. And as for everyone else, they'll be safe and sound right here. The effects of Scarecrow's gas should wear off by midnight. Until then, the super friends said together, let's... Oh! The end. See you next time.